Inside Galileo, there are several useful databases for the research that you're going to be doing about space. If you scroll down, um, you of course have Britannica Elementary, and this is an encyclopedia that has lots of articles on different topics. So once you click on Britannica in the search box at the top, you would just type whatever it is that you are searching for. If you were looking for a rover, you would click, you would type rover and then click search. And then you'll notice that there's different um, links down below that you would then need to click on in order to read. So if I wanted to read about the Mars exploration rover, I would click this link to open up that article. One helpful thing once you're in an article is that you can change the reading level. It's going to automatically put you in level one, but if you want more information, you could bump up to level two, and that's going to take you into uh, Britannica Middle School, which will have more information than the elementary one will. It will also read to you if you need um, some help with some words on the page. It does read in kind of a robotic voice, so it's not the most pleasant thing to listen to. So if you can read it yourself, I would recommend reading it yourself instead of listening. But if you need the help, it's right there for you. All right, I'm going to go back to Galileo. The next um, database that I want to show you is Explora. And this is similar to Britannica. Um, but in Explora, you're going to have more topics. Um, and let's just go ahead and look for um, a telescope this time. So once my results come up, you can see there's 953 different things about telescopes. That doesn't mean that every one of these is going to be helpful to the research that I'm doing. Most likely the very first things to come up are what you're going to want to look at. You can see that there's a, another encyclopedia like Encyclopedia Britannica. Um, there's some videos that I can look at if they are relevant to what I'm looking for. Here's um, an article about the Hubble Space Telescope, so a specific tool um, that's used to explore space. Now, something to note over to the left, you can change the reading levels. Right now, it's showing me everything. Um, so if I want something that's um, a little bit easier to read, I might look at some of these um, 400 to 700 or the 700 to 900. Um, to see what those are, if they're helpful to me. Sometimes those aren't the best articles, but sometimes they are. So it's always helpful just to check those and then see what comes up, if it's something that would be useful to you. You can always get rid of the limiters over here by clicking the X to get back to the regular results that you had in the beginning. You also can narrow it down by the kinds of things that you're looking for. So if you're only wanting to look at encyclopedias, you could just check that and pull up every encyclopedia that's about that has something about telescopes. All right, let's go back and look at one more resource. And I really like this one. Right under Britannica, there's a, a box that says EBSCO eBooks. Um, so this is a whole collection of books, just like you walked into the Barrow Library, except all of these books are available to you online um, to read at any time. And everybody can click on them at the same time, so you don't have to wait on the book to check it out. So we're going to click into EBSCO eBooks. And I'm going to type Space Probe this time. And let's see what comes up. So I can see here there's a book called Robots in Space. So I could click into that book to see more about it. And if I want to actually read the book, I can click on this PDF full text and actually flip through the pages of the book or click on the table of contents and go to a very specific part of the book to read it. So I hope that these resources are helpful to you as you research space.